Hey people of VC, it's Andy Cloudy Mulder with you with another uh, vinyl update. This time around it's non-80s stuff, it is um, stuff from either before, actually not before this video, but uh, generally speaking stuff from uh, the last uh, few years that I've uh, picked up and added to my collection. Uh, kind of what's been in um, collection update type video, some of this stuff I've had for a few months now, not shown previously on the VCs. Um, but all stuff that's going to go back on the shelf after tonight to make room for some more uh, goodies in future. Um, first up is uh, an album I got in uh, trade with Mike Allen. Uh, he now goes as Vintage Wine. Uh, he's got a channel on here. He's recently decided to um, uh, sell on all his uh, records and just stick to CD collecting. He feels that's a far better media for him. Um, Made a comment on one of his uh, recent videos, um, mentioning that one of the things he said he was looking for that I had on vinyl and CD, and he asked if I was willing to trade the CD, and he offered me uh, this album uh, by uh, Hell. This is a Curse and Chapter 2013 Nuclear Bast Records. Uh, I'd never heard of them actually. Um, it didn't twig to me that this was the uh, the Hell from um, sort of early. 80s, who I had heard of but didn't really know um, much about. So I went, we went ahead, did the trade. Um, this is in, in perfect condition. If you want to see what I traded with him, uh, check out a uh, link to uh, his video. Uh, go and support his channel. He's a, he's a great guy. Um, so yeah, so he recommended this. And I um, I kind of thought it would be sort of newish, newish metal. Um, maybe I like it, maybe I wouldn't, but I figured, you know, what the hell. That's uh Let's give it a go. Um, but I played it and I really, really liked it. Um, it doesn't really matter. So the hype sticker says it's um, so it's limited to 500 copies, so it's, it's quite a limited edition. Uh, classic hard rock inspired by the sounds of Scorpions, UFO, Iron Maiden, Deep Purple, and the like. Uh, I I don't get it. I don't think it sounds like any of those. Iron Maiden maybe at, at best, but it's uh, it's a good heavy metal album uh, with certain modern twists. Quite. Um, Quite theatrical as well, and we have a look at them, uh, little guys. You can see that they are quite theatrical as well. Uh, so nice on Gatefold. It's uh, it's a double album, um, probably justifiably so. It's 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 quite long. Um, comes with a uh, poster of the band. There we go. And uh, nice uh, inner sleeves as well with uh, lyrics and uh, uh, band photos. There you go, apologies for the glare. Now, what's interesting about um, Hell is um, I did a bit, little bit of uh, digging on them and found they've got quite an interesting little sort of metal family tree of their own. So, um, originally, they were. New Wave of British Heavy Metal Band, uh, Hell, formed in 1982. Uh, one of the founding members, uh, Dave Halliday, was actually in uh, this band, Race Against Time. Now, I uh, I think I showed this in my last video. I picked it up uh, just after Christmas for under five euros from uh, High Roller Records. Um, this is all demo material stuff, but Dave Halliday was a uh, vocalist and guitarist on this band. So this is just demos. Uh, and stuff, and he um, <clears throat> after that he formed Hell, and um, during that time, um, guitarist uh, well, he wasn't a guitarist, Andy Sneap, who uh, uh, eventually went on to form 80s, another English 80s metal band called Sabbat. Um, Dave Halliday taught Andy Sneap how to play guitar, was basically his, his mentor. Um, but two weeks before Hell were due to record their first album, they only had a few demos out, but before they would uh, record their first album, um, Mausoleum, the record label they just signed to, uh, went under. And that kind of um, broke the band. The band split up, and um, Halliday, uh, sadly, it was too much, and eventually led and he committed suicide to his own life. And um, there was no official uh, releases from Hell. Um, However, in 2008, um, Hell reformed um, with a few of the original lineup, and who should replace Halliday on guitar 
none other than uh, Andy uh, Sneak himself, uh, his, uh, his protege. So, this is uh, Andy Sneak here. Oh, well, that's quite a cool little uh, circular sort of uh, story from uh, the uh, the prodigy coming back and taking over his uh, his mentor. But, uh, sad story about uh, Dave Halliday, but uh, he left quite a good legacy by all accounts. Uh, next up, um, so as I said, that um, Mike was uh, selling off uh, his vinyl. Um, so he gave me a link to his his eBay. Um, account. Um, I had quite a few things on there. Uh, not so much stuff I was interested in, but he did have uh, these two albums uh, listed, which I thought was quite uh, interesting. So that's uh, uh, six a.m. Prayer for the Damned and six a.m. Prayer for the Blast, Volume 1 and 2, uh, both 2016 releases, again, both in superb condition. These are the Blast, the, so this is uh, obviously Nikki Six's uh, new band. Um, volume 1 is really, really good. So this is uh, Prayers for the Damned. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is it's on clear vinyl and I'm not a fan of clear vinyl at all. I don't mind coloured vinyl, I don't mind black vinyl, but there's something about clear vinyl I just kind of yeah, doesn't doesn't sit with me. But the volume two, which uh, I can kind of give or take, um, it's not as good as volume one. If you only if you're tempted to get these and you can only afford one, go for volume one. Uh, volume two kind of feels like the B side. Um, if you get my drift, but it's a nice, uh, beautiful coloured uh, vinyl. There's also a, uh, a cover on here of, um, I don't know who originally did it, but to me it's the Mariah Carey song, uh, Without You, which is, kills the album for me. But uh, there we go. Some good tracks on here, but not as good as, uh, as volume one. Right, uh, next up, uh, I have shown these before when I picked them up. I did a, a gig review a while back. Um, well, it's the Anvil, and I said I was blown away by the support band, which is a German thrash metal band uh, called uh, Reset. Or Reset, or Reset, or Reset. Um, and this is their, uh, it's their debut album. So this is originally from 2010, but this was uh, 2016, um, was the first vinyl release for this. This is Have Gun Will Travel. And um, this is great stuff. I mean, like a lot of a lot of bands, the uh, you know their first release really kind of uh, grabs you. And uh, if you look at but on YouTube, songs like uh, Toxic Avenger and Have Gun Will Travel, um, really really cool uh, stuff. This is on uh, Arg Records, and a nice sort of custom label there for the. Uh, um, yeah, and also their second release. Which I also picked up at the, uh, the gig as well. Uh, Civic Nightmares. Uh, again, absolutely uh, killer stuff. This, this is how around the, the only, I think the only ever present is uh, Ricky Wagner or Ricky Wagner, um, uh, lead guitarist and uh, vocalist. He seems to be the main man uh, throughout. There seems to be a different lineup on every album. But again, really good um, uh, German thrash metal. This is on Metalizer Records, and this is from 2012. Excellent stuff. Uh, next one up I have had for a very, very long time, it seems, anyway. I must have had it for about uh, five or six months now. Um, and I can't stop spinning it. I absolutely love it. One of my favourite records. Um, modern, sort of new wave of traditional heavy metal in the in the Thin Lizzy mould. That's Dead Lord. Heads, heads held high. This has been shown numerous times. Um... Like I say, it's been in it's constant rotation. Absolutely uh, love it. This is a nice addition um, on Century Media. Yeah. Lyrics on the inner. Bit of a record label merch material. Uh, a big poster that I will never hang up on my wall 
of uh, the album cover and uh, the band themselves. Pretty cool. And the, uh, yeah, just on the black vinyl. But uh, absolutely brilliant album. One of my, uh, say, one of my favourite modern era albums uh, that I've got. Um, you cannot go wrong with it. So the songs on here, I mean, you could check out all the songs on here, but um, No Regrets, When History Repeats Itself, uh, Farewell, Cold Hearted Madness. Great, great stuff. Do check out Dead Lord. Um, next up, now this is one I've also had for months, but this one I've struggled to really get my, my head around. Uh, this is uh, Elder with the I think 2015 release Law, uh, L O R E, on uh, Stickman Records. Um, it's just kind of a heavy psych stoner doom metal. Um, Band. The sort of band where, I mean, this is a, a double album, but there are only five tracks on it. And um, so pretty much a, a, a track aside. And I saw them I saw them live. I'd never heard of them. They were supporting, uh, or they were being supported by Stake, uh, a band that I've spoken about a few times. Um, and I went to, mainly to see Stake um, play live uh, in Edinburgh. And these were headlining, and they were brilliant on stage. I mean, honestly, they were blew me away, I thought these were f fantastic, uh, so I went off and I bought this album, um, spent quite a bit on it considering what I normally spend on albums, and I was just kind of a bit disappointed, the um, the vocals just seem a bit kind of muddy, a bit hidden in, in the mix, and that didn't, I mean that may be how it's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, I'm no expert, but uh, it came with a CD as well, uh, the vinyl actually sounds better than the CD, and it's the CD I was listening to first, the most to try and get into them. Um, let's track a listing. Um, but it's a nice nice package, so this is the, uh, you can kind of choose your own, um, choose your own inlay, if you like. There you go. Mix and match. Um, comes with a lyric sheet. But I slowly got into this. Um, it's a sort of album where um, I have to kick back on the sofa behind me, not have any distractions, sitting in front of the computer or uh, or reading or doing anything else. And uh, if I kind of sit back and listen to it, 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 it's okay. But as I say, five songs, double album. To me, they get a bit repetitive, certainly in between the um, <coughs> the lyrics and the vocal pieces. Um, but um, yeah, no, nice, nice to have. I don't think I would necessarily go and buy anything of theirs again. But I would definitely go and see them live. Um, so we'll see. It's a work in progress. Cheers. Uh, next up, we have um, Flight, self-titled album. This is from 2015. So these are a Norwegian New Wave of traditional heavy metal band. Took me a little while to get into their vocal style. Very, very um, different. Uh, didn't like it at first, but um, um, I think Greeno mentioned a, a similar thing to me and said, you know, stick with it. And uh, and I did, and I really enjoy it now. Um, kind of a no-frills release. That's on Bad Omen Records, so 2015. Uh, One-sided lyric sheet. Um, Lyrics are really weird, actually, uh, a bit bizarre. Um, despite the fact you know, you've got lyrics, so you can read them, but having read them, I don't necessarily, I couldn't necessarily tell you what the songs are about. Um, maybe if I kind of thought about them and I could think about them in Norwegian, and then translate them, it would maybe make sense. But um, killer music, though, absolutely good, and the vocals really do suit this once you get into it, once you get past that. So that's all very cool, and it's on a very, very blue. Vinyl, lovely stuff. So, flight, uh, Norwegian new wave of traditional heavy metal. Next up, a uh, band called uh, Valkyrie, and uh, this is on uh, Relapse Records. Uh, so, Valkyrie uh, features Pete Adams from Baroness. Um, absolutely brilliant artwork on it. I do, I do love this. And this is great. I mean, this is Baroness are known more of a stoner band, but this is 
um, more uh, heavy metal. Uh, I thoroughly uh, recommend them. It's uh, clearly got stoner influences to it, but there's much more on the, the, the metal side than uh, the Baroness. Um, but uh, I've played this a lot again. It's uh, absolutely killer stuff. So this is Valkyrie uh, Shadows from uh, 2015. There's more. How are we doing? 15 minutes. Quicker than I thought. Uh, next up. So, um, Anthrax. Thrash in Texas. Uh, Dallas broadcast 1987. 30 years ago. Anthrax released I Am uh, Among the Living, of which I Am the Law is on. And uh, this is one of the shows that they played, obviously, in uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, red translucent uh, vinyl. Double album. Gatefold. And this this takes me back. It's it's pretty good uh, recording. It's uh, Back on Black. Um, came out in what 2015, 2016 release on Back on Black. Um, really takes me back. Um, the set list. I'll read out the whole thing. Among the Living, Courtney Mosh, Metal Thrashing Mad, I Am the Law, Madhouse, Indians, guitar solo, Armed and Dangerous, drum solo, AIR. God Save the Queen, Imitation of Life, Gung Ho, and Living After Midnight. And uh, this, hey, this takes me back. I saw Anthrax in uh, Sir David's Hall in Cardiff on this tour, 9th of November uh, in 1987. Uh, £6. Yeah, £6 entry fee. And um, it blew me away. Um... And thankfully, this week in uh, in Glasgow, I went to see Anthrax on the Among the Living tour. Just uh, just a little bit more expensive, uh, about five <laughs> five times as much. Um, but this was the Among the Kings tour. So this is Anthrax touring with um, touring on their For All Kings recent release album. But also they played two sets here. The first set was mainly made up of tracks from Spreading the Disease and For All Kings with um, a, a, a track or two from Worship Music, um, one from State of Euphoria, and I think that was about it really. Uh, they played for about 45 minutes, went off stage, uh, there was a bit of a re round of the stage and they started setting up ramps and things and the stage was very, very reminiscent of uh, the 1987 gigs. If you've ever seen the um, uh, was it uh, Oidif Nikovesin video? And uh, they came back on and they played the entire Among the Living album from start to finish in track order. And it was brilliant. I haven't had so much fun in a gig for a very long time. Um, I think they conserved their energy a little bit in the, uh, in the first set. In the second set, they just let go. They were running up and down the, uh, the ramps. And... Um, yeah, finished up with a rendition of uh, Antisocial. Um, absolutely killer stuff. If you get to see them on the Among the Kings tour and they're playing the full Among the Living album, uh, do not miss it. I uh, picked up the obligatory uh, tour t shirt. This is the Evil Twin one. And there you can see uh, on the second row Glasgow, 15th of uh, the second. Nice little bit of a sleeve artwork as well. So, um, yeah, I was just, it, it transported me back. Having seen them 30 years ago on this tour and then seen them play it all again, and they seem to have the same enthusiasm. Joey Belladonna had the audience in his hand. Uh, one of my favorite um, metal front men uh, with, uh, you know, Lisa Bruce Dickinson and um, uh, Biff Byford as well of, of Saxon. It's great. Um, you know, metal has some of the best, I think, uh, not just vocalists, and not just in terms of, you know, how they sing or how they suit their music, but just their interaction with the audience and the way they keep things going. Absolutely superb. So, um, delighted to pick this up. This was a little bit of my homework before I, I went to the gig. And um, the, the set list here will always have a special place in my heart.
Anthrax, one of my favourite bands. Uh, similarly, another Back on Black uh, release. This is a band I haven't seen live, and I would love to see live. Um, hopefully, still get the chance. So, uh, Testament live in uh, London. This was a set, I think, was uh, so. This is a 2005. I think it was originally 2005, so I guess they, that's when the uh, the gig would have been. This is a 2014 release on Back on Black. Uh, it's a gate for the yeah, okay, sure, gate for the again. It's on red translucent vinyl, similar to the Anthrax release. There we go. And, uh, yeah, really nicely done. Nice pictures. Chuck Billy and the boys. Uh, again, double album. Really good sound quality. Very happy to have that in the collection. Um, how are we doing? 21 minutes, and we've got two left. Got through these a lot quicker than I expected. Um, next up, this was uh, some VCLT from uh, Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules. And uh, again, something that he sent me quite a long time ago, but um, I have played a lot. This is one of the you know, Greg sent me a lot. I've been very, 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 very lucky. And um, going to uh, sticker. Uh, but I love this. This is one of the favourite things that he, he has sent me. Um, it's uh, signed by the band. He got it signed uh, for me. It's a limited pressing. It mentions on the back that uh, this album is dedicated to all the devoted metalheads out there who still buy physical copies of albums. This record was made specifically for you, only available on vinyl. So if you put it online, we will find you. <laughs> uh, but Iron Kingdom, they're. I don't know if they started as an Iron Maiden tribute band, but they are very, very Iron Maiden uh, sounding. Um, it's kind of more of an EP. You see, it's uh, number, number 90 of 500. Um, well, on the B side, there's, there's a track called Egypt, the Engineer, which is 12 minutes, 55 seconds long. And it, it, it's a monster. It's, it's really, really good. It's very, um, it's very galloping Iron Maiden. Um, I would love to get some more stuff from, uh, from these guys. Um, I don't know how ready, readily available they are over here. I think they're a Canadian band. Um, but uh, yeah, one of my favourite favourite pieces that uh, I've I've had recently. Uh, so thanks again, uh, Greg, for that. I told you I'd get round to everything you send me eventually, or show. Um, but yeah, Iron Kingdom, Unleashed at the Kraken. I mean, it's a live album as well, by the way. So uh, another excellent one. And last but not least, something I've picked up very very recently. I've been looking out for for a long time. Um, initially heard this album on YouTube um, I couldn't find it anywhere online I even um, I, I saw it was on vinyl um, it had sold out on High Roller Records um, I even contacted the band on Facebook and asked them if they had any uh, albums they said they did have some albums but they were going to take them on tour with them and if they had any left over they'd send one they subsequently sold out on tour which didn't surprise me at all although it pissed me off a little bit because I wanted one um, but in January or late December, it got a second pressing uh, on High Roller, and that's a self-titled album by Seven Sisters. This is a, uh, I think they're a London base, a UK new wave, a traditional heavy metal band, and this album is a brilliant. I love it. It's, um, I guess like a lot of new wave, traditional heavy metal bands, they kind of either fit in the, the Maiden, the Priest, or the, the Thin Lizzy type sound maybe I'm over generalizing here it's a fairly no frills release from as far as uh, high roll is concerned it does come with a nice uh, with a, a lyric sheet and a nice glossy uh, picture of the band the the sound is very Iron Maiden I'd say kind of peace of mind uh, era or well, between peace of mind and number of the beast probably more peace of mind though um, the vocals are very different sound though they're not an Iron Maiden clone by any means they they kind of bring something new to the 1983 table if you can do that in 2016 2017 but um, yeah Seven Sisters uh, great new band uh, thoroughly recommend you check this out um, 
look on YouTube maybe for a song called Highways of the Night. Um, but there's a lot of great tracks on here. Um, it's good all the way through. I think this was on white vinyl as well. I think the choices of this are the repress for white vinyl or yellow vinyl. But uh, having a. Uh, I prefer the white. There we go. Oh, 25 minutes. That's a lot. I did have a bunch of CDs I was going to show. I've been on a bit of a. a oh, fact, let's just do the CDs. 25 minutes. You can. You can switch off now if you're not interested in CDs, or you can uh, or stick around. Uh, Midnight Force, a uh, band from uh, Glasgow. Uh, this is their EP. I'm going to see these guys next next week, I think, 24th. They are supporting Toledo Steel, who are in turn supporting High Spirits at Bannerman's Edinburgh on the 24th. Got my tickets. Really looking forward to that gig. Um, uh, Cauldron. So I picked up in Ruin recently, uh, really, really loved it. Uh, picked up these two on CD, just um, second hand. They were they're brand new, but I got them for like a couple of quid each. But four and a half already. Um, this one was a bit of a surprise, so this is Tomorrow's Lost. And um, when I was having a poke around with it, I found out it came with a, uh, yeah, yeah, a signed inlay, which was kind of cool. Um, Disappointed at the moment, I'm struggling to get into them. Uh, I loved In Ruin. Um, not so much with these. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's not quite clicked yet. I'll have to give it another go. Um, yeah, one, one thing with uh, Burning Fortune is uh, the song Tears Have Come. Um, that surprised me a bit because when I first heard this, I thought they said of rather than have, and it just, yeah, put the song in a completely different light. Uh, so there we go. Um, been on a bit of a Judas Priest kick lately. Uh, picked up one of these um, original album classics box sets. So this just has uh, little sort of LP cover versions of uh, Sin After Sin, British Steel, Turbo, Painkiller, and Angel of Retribution. The only one of these I have on vinyl is British Steel. I didn't have that on CD, so that was quite cool. Um, believe it or not, the first first of these I listened to was Turbo. Not many people love Turbo. I really, really like. I wouldn't say love, but I really, really like Turbo. Brings back memories of the eighties, and um, I'd love to get that on vinyl. Uh, continuing the priest kit, what do we have? So uh, yeah, I got a good cheap deal on a. Box set of uh, 30th edition anniversary. I speak 30th anniversary deluxe edition of Defenders of the Faith, and this comes with um, obviously the original remastered album and uh, yeah, CD2 recorded live at Long Beach Arena and CD3 recorded live at Long Beach Arena, 5th of May 1984. So live album. Not as the live album yet, but uh, been enjoying the studio album version. Nice little box set only for a couple of quids, which was good. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, this was a, a VCLT from Blackmore Rules as well. Excuse me. Uh, Trouble. I don't know why, Greg, that I stopped. I held off listening to this, but when I did, boy, it was good. Um, doing metal in the style of Black Sabbath. Can't fault it. This is quite a few times since then, so thank you very much again, Greg. Um, I know when you sent me that you asked me to comment on, which is Rush Fly By Night. I've never really given Rush a chance. I'm probably going to upset a few people now, but um, I don't really get it. It's okay. it's it's good. It's okay. I, the, it's the guy singing. It kind of reminds me of um, a bit of Steve Marriott, and um, I like, kind of like Steve Marriott, but I don't know. Just to me, it didn't really fit with this. So sorry, Greg. It's a it's a no from me. Um, Steve, Harmless Rebel, mentioned these a while back, not heard of them, so this is Gamma Ray, so this is um, Kai Hansen's um, band, so this is from 2009. If you like Halloween, certainly the early Halloween, uh, you will like this, Gamma Ray uh, to the metal, been playing this quite a lot recently as well. And finally, the big surprise, I guess, for me is... Um, I picked up this Best Of by uh, Marilyn Manson. 
I, I've heard one or two songs in the past that I kind of thought were okay. You know, I've been meaning to give them a go. And um, yeah, so I picked up a compilation. And I really like it. Um, I, was just, I was just really surprised. I didn't think I would. There's three covers on here, though. I don't really, I'm not really that into covers on, um, certainly on a compilation. Now, I don't mind Tainted Love by um, uh, Marilyn Manson's version of Tainted Love. I've always kind of quite liked that. Uh, which always surprised me, but um, you know, there's Personal Jesus on here as well, and um, just Depeche Mode, which I actually really do like the original one, uh, and this is okay, not so much. And uh, I think there's also a Eurythmics song on here, Sweet Dreams, made of this, which, again, it's, it's, it's kind of okay, but it breaks up the rest of his songs, and I kind of wanted to get into his songs. I've picked up a couple of his early albums as well, since on CD, again, really cheaply, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging this stuff. I was really surprised. So there you go. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Um, right, if you're still stuck with me, that's a lot for now. Half an hour, longest video I've done for a while. Um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you're still watching and you haven't and you want to see some more of this uh, nonsense. Um, thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend. And I'll be back again soon. Cheers.